Alrighty, well we are going to be looking back at an old operating system here. And as you can see it already being highlighted, we are taking a look back at Windows 2000 Professional. So this is an operating system that is being ran on the Oracle VMware uh, VirtualBox. Uh, and that is how I'm able to run this operating system on this computer, this fairly old computer. It's uh, from, I believe, like 2013. Still running Windows 8 on it, 8.1 to be exact. But anyway, let's dive in and take a look at Windows 2000. I will uh, run through these two on a different video. Uh, but we are mainly looking at Windows 2000 right now. Typical starting windows, there's your startup screen. Now do keep in mind this is only running on uh, 16 colors, so the background might be a little different than what you would expect. So this is how it would look. And there we have that classic Windows 2000 uh, startup boot chime. So this is basically uh, getting started with Windows 2000. You can discover Windows, connect to the internet. You can connect to the internet. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what version of Internet Explorer this is, but I would assume it's IE5. But yeah, it still loads the internet, for surprisingly, for being this old of an operating system. Still have like all the low, old logos, little Windows logo up top. But as you can see, the Google uh, logo looks kind of funny because it's only running on 16 colors. I can search something, maybe like Windows 2000. And it will still work just fine, but none of these sites will load. Windows 2000 is a major release of Windows of the Windows NT operating system developed by Microsoft and designed for businesses. So yeah, in case anyone doesn't know by now, uh, Windows 2000 was geared more towards a professional type of uh, operating system something that was more geared towards businesses while you had Windows 98 or Windows Millennium Edition geared more for home use uh, even though you can still use both Windows 2000 for home and business um, you have your Outlook Express take a quick look at that And it, you had a decent amount of options. Could work offline too. Message. If you got a message, even though just a startup. Welcome to the Outlook Express Info Beat. So classic and old school. That, that old MSN Hotmail. Uh, logo right there. We have recycling bin. It's pretty standard there. Just, uh, you know, nothing really too crazy going on there with recycling bin. My computer. Just kind of giving the basic files that I have on here. This is, I'm not sure if this is if it's going to have everything that the original Windows 2000 would have had, but I do believe so. This is a full version of Windows 2000. Just missing a lot of the colors and stuff. So again, pictures don't look as nice as they usually would. Um, and then let's go take a look at the control panel. Well, the start menu. This is the start menu. 
a little bit different from the 98 and 95 start menus, but they are virtually all the same. Uh, you would normally get a lot more programs and a lot more um, things here, but yeah, this is what it looks like games. Uh, you just get Minesweeper, Pinball, Solitaire. Let's take a look at Minesweeper. Your typical standard Windows XP version. And... But no sound, surprisingly, so something could be wrong that it just doesn't work on this newer computer. Uh, would be best to show you an older computer that actually has Windows 2000 installed, but I do not have one of those computers. Just so I have everything on here. Let's take a look at the pinball. Pinball kind of looks a little funnier. Maybe that's just the way it looks, but let's see. Uh, and I, this has sound. Yeah, as you can see, it's pretty bad. Just with the graphics, it's pretty poor, uh, opposed to the Windows XP version. Um, but it will work. It does have the basic games, does have a few things, uh, surprisingly. Uh, programs, accessories, what are the games? Free Cell, Solitaire. These are almost your basic. The only thing that might be different is the back of these cards, like the pictures and all that. Other than that, it's basically the same thing as the Windows XP version. So, yeah, not much else to say other than the picture sucks. But it would look so much better on an actual computer. And then this is free sale. Here's a little animation there with the guy looking back and forth. That's so cool the way he looks back and forth with the mouse. Huh? Nice little detail there. Um, and I guess if we go to programs and accessories and you'll see your windows explorer synchronized paint imaging notepad basically all your same uh features and programs of all the other windows operating systems and you do have windows update here And it can't display the page, which is obviously a given. Um, let's see, you still have your little Windows Update thing at the bottom. Still have your volume. That's a classic sound. Let's see what other kind of sounds. Uh, Uh, control panel. Let's see what other kind of sounds Windows 2000 has to offer. So, at risk. It's kind of glitchy a little bit with the sounds. Like it just it keeps looping. That's when you close windows. Let's see what other ones we got here. Notify. Let's see what other other ones we got here. Let's see. Start windows, of course, your typical login sound. Ah, come on. Has to work once.
There we go, finally. It's a little sensitive, but it works. And uh, empty recycle, typical recycle. Oh my god, that sounds like the Yuri. Everyone for that group in the 2000s already knows that sound where it came from. The fitness gram pacer test. And critical battery alarm just ding. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. And those are the sounds of Windows 2000. And let's shut her down. And here you have your options to restart, log off, whatever you want to do. But well, we'll just shut it down. There we go. It has some remnants of Windows XP, but uh, I guess you can kind of see where XP followed from 2000. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, taking a look back at Windows 2000 trip down memory lane. But uh, until next time, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.